Okay, welcome to my presentation that I did a few months ago in 2023. Um, and I'm recording by myself alone. Um, <clears throat> this presentation is based on the one that Matthew and Christy did at our retreat last fall, um, where we debated whether performance or storytelling should be the top priority. Um, it was cool to hear different opinions about whether uh, preferences of storytelling versus performance were linked to logic or creativity, right brain, left brain, job roles, astrology signs, or something else. So that conversation made me realize that people had different ideas about what storytelling means, especially in advertising. So this is my take on what it means as a designer and how we use storytelling on the creative team. Um, I feel like what people first think of when thinking about storytelling and marketing is long form video that hits at the heartstrings and is seriously memorable and effective. Um, here's a classic example of that. Uh, the farmer's dog ads that were in last year's Super Bowl. emotional ah, okay um yeah very sad but um classic example um here's another example of sort of long form storytelling that we've used at rink this is for better science i can't really explain how wilson knew that he was mine it's like almost like he knew that i needed him as much as like he eventually came to need me um, the Harbor Master here in Rockport um, have been for 10 years. When I first started the job in my 20s, um, it was definitely a pretty daunting task. Wilson came into my life uh, sort of divinely. I was down in the Bahamas working at a marina. Came back, I weren't sure what was wrong with me. Um, ended up having a parasite, ended up spending 40 weeks inpatient in the hospital. I'm like lying in bed, the most exercise again is like trying to find the remote, which was pretty brutal and then started to recover. And that was when, you know, they, everyone thought it might be a good idea to get a dog, get me out, get me moving. The minute he walked in, he went like straight for me. It's just like this immediate sort of bonding, imprinting thing that happened. Um, that was almost 13 years ago. And there's not a lot of women Harbor Masters around. It helps, honestly, having Wilson around because he sort of breaks the ice. You know, if if you're if you're trying to you know, tell people not to speed and this goofy little golden doodle pops his head up, how can you take that too seriously? We've you know, rescued paddleboarders, you know, kayakers that sort of get, lose their way um, in the fog, and that certainly certainly helps when somebody's scared and you know, Wilson's right there. I like to see Wilson as the, the new animal ambassador to Rockport. People will make a special trip to hang out with him. You know, he's a steady presence that's just always loving. As he's aged, you know, we try to do what's been best for him. And the supplements that we've been taking now have really made a huge amount of difference. The Glycofex in particular um, we've given him and he's now jumping in the car and jumping on the boat, whereas I was helping him, you know, not three weeks before he started. Taking good care of Wilson has been easy because he's taking good care of us. He brings everybody together. You know, he gives some love here, gives some love there. He always knows like the people that need it the most.
I can't really explain that. Okay, yeah, I really love that whole series. Um, something I want to talk about, though, is while these are two great examples of long form video, um, we can achieve story without needing a lot of production. Um, here's a famous example of short form storytelling. Uh, and here's a totally different story using the same words. Um, the point is that you don't always need long form messaging and 30 second TV spots to communicate a pointed message. Storytelling really can be simplified into just images. <clears throat> Here's a pretty clear image um, or message, bakery. Right. This says something a little different, probably infestation. This says forbidden love. This says growing up. This says war. This says a proposal in the spring. This says um, a proposal gone wrong. Evolution. Comforts of the holidays, maybe. This is a corporate gal who doesn't expect to find love over the holidays. Enron whistleblower, maybe? I guess what I'm trying to get at is that these random stock photos um, can also tell a lot uh, and tell a story. Um, and you don't need a lot to tell a story in advertising. It doesn't have to be high production value. It just has to achieve connection with an audience. Um, here are some other PSAs that are built around simplicity but have really powerful storytelling. Here's an Air Max ad that, that I think was a school project. Um, and this is a PSA for road safety. And here's a PSA for the Canadian Heart and Stroke Foundation. Um, it's pretty emotional and has such, such a clear message with very little frills. Um, yeah. Here's another one, a thank you message to healthcare workers during the pandemic. Um, yeah, and here's Spotify's huge campaign after Spotify wrapped in 2016. Um, this is a great example of using data in storytelling. Um, so back to what does storytelling and advertising mean? I feel like it's easy to get overwhelmed by various terms trying to fit storytelling into a buzzword, like all of these. Um, but in essence, they all convey the same idea. This is what we want to say, so let's make it more engaging. Storytelling also answers the main question consumers have why should I care with a memorable and meaningful experience? The idea is to get folks to feel something, even to spark them into action and boost their loyalty to a brand or cause. Using storytelling and marketing helps people see why they should care and makes your cause more relatable. So, for example, this guy just looks like a generic 3D mob boss that I found a stock image of, but using just a few more stock images, I've created some context. So now that you can see that he's actually a valued leader and mentor and has dedicated over 45 years to his industry of nightclub ownership. This random stock photo is now much more memorable, and by putting it in this emotional context, we can connect a little more. Okay, so who is actually right in the storytelling versus performance debate? I say it's more of a partnership. 
Storytelling crafts the narrative and performance ensures that this narrative is not just captivating, but also meets goals. Storytelling is effective when it's engaging, while performance gauges the impact, whether through increased brand awareness, customer engagement, or sales. Together, they form a symbiotic relationship where storytelling draws consumers in and performance me metrics show if the narrative is hitting the brand's goals. So the story we want to tell in the creative is influenced by the results we want to see in the end. So yay, partnership. Thanks for listening. And I hope this will spur some perspective and debate. Thank you, thank you. How do I stop this? <laughs>